LSAT 66 game four, we have an ordering problem. We have a recital, five solos are going to be played. In each solo, there's two things we need to know about it. Is it performed by Wayne or Zara? And is it modern or traditional? So we've got two sequences here. And let's look at the conditions we were given. We're told the third solo is traditional. So we've got a T there. Um, the second condition is a little more interesting. It says exactly two of the traditional pieces are performed consecutively. So we can't have two and four both traditional because that'd be three T's in a row. If both of these were modern, now we're never going to have consecutive traditional pieces. Okay, so since we have to have exactly two consecutive, there's two ways this can happen. We can have two and three be traditional, or we can have three and four be traditional. So let's write out these possibilities. Now, since we aren't allowing three traditional in a row, we have to put modern pieces on each each side of this. So there's the first two conditions put together. We've got it can look like this, and we don't know whether the last one's modern or traditional, or it can look like this, and we don't know what the first one is. So that's really helpful. Next we're told that the fourth solo is either Wayne doing a traditional piece or Zara doing a modern piece. Okay, so those are two possibilities and they fit really nicely but they're two different worlds because the fourth is modern here so we'd have Zara here. The fourth is traditional here so Wayne must be playing that. The next condition is that the pianist who plays the second solo does not do the fifth solo. So I'm going to write that as Wayne does the second if and only if Zara does the fifth. Okay? If Wayne's second, Zara's fifth. If Wayne is not second, then Zara is not fifth. Last, we're told that no traditional piece is performed until Wayne performs a modern piece. So we've got that Wayne performs the modern before the first traditional piece. Okay? And so here, the first traditional piece is in the second solo. So Wayne must do something modern before that. Now here, we weren't sure if the first solo was modern or traditional. And now we know it must be modern. Because this condition makes it impossible to have a traditional piece first. Now there's two possibilities here. We could have Wayne first, we could have Wayne second. And I don't have to, but I'm going to split these up into two separate worlds for that, because if Wayne is here, there's no new implications from that. But if Wayne is here, that also forces Zara here. And so I'm going to keep these separate. You could do it either way, of course. Now we're ready for that first question. Which could be all of the traditional pieces? So all the traditional pieces could be the second and third, the second, third, and fifth, or the third and fourth. Those are all the possibilities. Third and fourth is one of our choices. We do not see second, third, and fifth, or second and third by themselves. So C is correct. Number 20 says, what is the minimum number of times that Wayne plays a traditional solo? Which raises the question, does Wayne have to play a traditional solo at all? He has to in, in these worlds, but up here, we don't have one forced, obviously. So let's see if we can avoid it altogether. So if I have Zara play traditional solo when traditional solos need to be played, and then Z and the second solo means we have to have Wayne play the last one. But this one could have been modern or traditional, so we just have to specify, oh, that one's modern. And now we've met all of our conditions. So we can have zero Wayne playing traditional solos. A is correct. Number 21 says, if the first and second solo are played by the same soloist, which must be true? 
So let's consider the different scenarios we could have. The difference between the second and third world is negligible in this case because if the first and second are the same, these are WW here, WW here. So we only have to look at two of these three. And if W is second, Z is fifth. Now, what do we have to have? Does Z have to be first? No, certainly not. Uh, w third. Could be W, could be Z. We don't know. Does Z have to be fifth? Yes, that has to be true. The second does not have to be traditional. The fourth does not have to be modern. So C is correct. Number 22 says, if the fifth so is traditional, for how many is the pianist, W or Z, determined? So let's consider this world because the other ones have the fifth being a modern piece. So we ignore, ignore those. And now, what do we know once we make this traditional? Well, two are determined for sure. But how about the other ones? Is there anything about this being traditional that makes it so that these now can't be W or Z? The answer is no. We have complete freedom to make, for example, this one W or Z. Once we do that, it doesn't need to be the opposite, the two and five opposite thing we still have. But they could be either. This one could be either. So there's only two that are determined. Number 23 asks, if the fifth so is Wayne playing a traditional piece, which of the following could be true? So the fifth can't be traditional in here. So we must be in this case, right? And so if we have Wayne fifth playing a traditional piece, then of course we have to have Z second. This Two and five are different from each other. So which could be true? So we have Z playing the first one? No, it's Wayne. W second? No. Z third? Sure. We could have Z in the third spot. This one could be either as far as we know. Could the second one be modern? Nope, it's traditional. Could the fourth one be traditional? No, it's modern. Right, so C is the only correct answer.